Hello, my darlings, and welcome to Let's Build I got in there before them. Got in there before them to do this stunning introduction. Welcome to part four of Willow Glen. We're going to be cracking on with a bit of the interior today and maybe just finishing off the workshops and treehouse as well. So we'll probably do the kitchen, I would imagine. Um, look at my t-shirt. Just so you know, that's all the traits of a decent human being right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, I really love this t-shirt. It speaks a lot of what I stand for. And that is the mantra of which we're going to go on with this recording today. Um, I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight as well at 7pm BST. So it's probably going to be around the time that this video will go up. Maybe an hour before. Don't know what that is, but yes, I'm going to be on Twitch. We're going to be carrying on with the um, every room a different pack challenge, which I am not enjoying because it is very difficult and I'm not for it. And also, obviously, I'm going to be getting a speed build out on Saturday. And I'm going to keep reminding you guys as well, I'm going away with Tom camping on Wednesday next week until Saturday. So Wednesday, Thursday and Friday's videos will be pre-recorded. One of them being the Q&A and kind of mini office tour video and i'm gonna probably i really like doing let's builds in time like in time with being live so as in like the same day as i can like get them out so i'll probably get the let's builds out for kind of monday tuesday and then other videos will follow maybe some more speed builds or i might even do a build challenge and record it i really want to give the 10 minute build challenge another go so I might even do that as well. Just so we've got videos on those days that aren't kind of live, if you know what I mean. Like today, I'm recording on the same day as I upload. Um, so yeah, I hope you understand. But I'm sure you will. Um, without further ado, let's flop on over into game, shall we? So here we are, my loves. I've done a little bit of work off of camera. Nothing too drastic. I managed to find some of these to toadstools, which are in the debug with Realm of Magic. I thought they looked really cute, kind of sized down. Just in little random spots around the garden. I thought that was very sweet. It's very much here for it. Um, what else did I do? I completely forgot as well that we were making this an access point. So I had to kind of like shift this area. And I've moved a couple of the bee boxes and the bug box over into this area. We did say that this was going to be as kind of outside workshop. But I think we might be able to put that around here somewhere. Or maybe even like here. If we can shuffle this foliage away a little bit more. Uh, and we can make this a predominantly family hangout spot then. I kind of like that idea. So I think we're going to go with it. I think we are going to go with it. And I've also put the wallpapers and the flooring and some of the fireplaces down where we're going to house everything inside. And it's this is like bugging me as well, this room for some reason, because... Oh, you're deciding to work now, are you? Nope, it's not. I've rebuilt it. I've done all sorts and this room has got a glitch on it. And I think we're going to have to furnish this room through a window because that's the only spot I have managed to put this bed in was looking through a window. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be really fun. Really, really fun. Cannot wait to do that. <laughs> so we're going to have to like peep in and furnish a bloody bedroom through a window for goodness sake. Um, and obviously all the way up here as well. I've uh, well not furnished. Put the wallpapers on. I've chosen these doors for the minute, but I don't really like them. I had to change this wind these windows here because, yeah, it was creeping through. The banister, that being... Oh, there's a wallpaper missing there. Very rude. That's because I had to remap this room down. Um, But it still wasn't working, which was, yeah, gorgeous. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's get down into the garden and we're going to finish off the garden first before we move on to the kitchen. So this is going to be a little family hangout spot. Um, I don't want to put too much here, really. Maybe just a few little objects where they can... I might even put the little horseshoe game. I saw one of you guys say that. I might do that here, actually. Will that fit here? Is it called horseshoe game? Horse planter, horse carbide and horse... Mick and what? Yes, it is. It's called that. Oh, God. It's really large. 
Well, I could still do it there. They'd still be able to use it because this isn't really class as a, you know. Oh. Um. I'm not really feeling it there, to be honest. I'm not. I don't know why. I think it might be the uh, flooring that's um, throwing me off. I might. If I change the flooring, let's see what would happen then. Because that might work, my loves. Am I recording? I am. Thank God. Right, that's getting rid of that for some reason. One item moved to household inventory. Maybe this would work. Oh, that's kind of helped it a little bit. That has kind of helped it a little bit. What other colours do you come in, my darling? Oh, yeah, the darker one. Oh, that does look a bit better. Maybe it was the colour that was throwing me off. Yeah, no, that's cute. We're going to keep it as that way, I think. Get a couple of these benches in. Do I want to put a table down here? Maybe a little table just here. And I could put, like, the, the little drink tray down there. I know I use the item to death, but I think it's lovely. Especially outside. A little, like, jug with... Why am I not get? Why is it not showing me surfaces? What? Oh, it's because I was in household inventory. Very silly. Very silly indeed. Right, dining table. Just a little, yeah, something like this. Something like this that looks kind of handmade. Yeah. I'm into it. Will we get a matching swatch, though? Yeah, that's not the worst. But we're, so we're going to use this. Do I want to put it in the middle? I don't think they'd be able to get to everything then, though. Oh, they should be able to. And if they can't, they're very fussy. Very fussy indeed. Right. Um, oh, I haven't got that bloody cheat on. Um, activities and skills. Where is it again? Is it in outdoor activities? I think it might be. Oh, no, it's in, mis it's in misc. Misc. There it is. Come here. We're going to plop you up there, my love. In a bright bright colour as well. Not a red, though. Eh, green will be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Let me see how far that is to the tree there. Okay. Right, I'm going to terrain paint that underneath it there now. Now that this is in, I fear it's only right. And I may even put a little planter down here. Just to fill up that dead space there. Because that space is just... She did. Oh, yeah, maybe I could use... Oh, that's not really the the size I want. Maybe the, I think this one would be better. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And we'll go for a... I want coloured flowers. There we go. A red. Look. Yeah, that's cute. That is cute. Very cute. I need to think about lighting here because it's going to be quite dark. Where does the treehouse reside? Because I could put a little lantern off of the treehouse. But maybe I'm going to do that. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to do that. Um, that doesn't give me outside vibes. This one here does. Could use it in the gold as well. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah, that lights up that place quite nicely then. I have already, like, pre-lit areas around the garden as well. I put a few little um, lanterns around. But, again, I don't want this garden to be massively overlit. Not at all. And with the um, planting business, I think we're going to do that in-game. I'm not going to pull out anything from Debug. I'm going to get her skill up and we're going to plant the actual things that she may need in-game. Live. Live in game. Now, I have put chimneys. I forgot to say that as well. I have put chimneys on these little hobbit huts. Um, like, I, and it just makes it look really cute. So I also had to add in a little fireplace as well, just because. Just because I can. And I will tweak all of this, but I don't really mind all of this creeping in. It doesn't bother me too much. Um, that one there was a little bit excessive but i don't actually mind all this creeping in here not at all okay so this is hers this is her little area so i'm thinking about adding in a flower arranging table um if i can remember where that is it's going to be an outdoor activities set 
Where am I going? For goodness sake, am I even like central here? I always find the difference. If my mic is slightly off central to my face, it's, you can really hear it. I still haven't got the best settings for this yet. I need to get that sorted. Really too. Right, here we go. Um, I'd imagine her having a bit of a bright colour as well. Oh, the blue was nice. Oh, I like the green. Yeah, we'll go for the green. Oh, will that set fire? I really hope it doesn't. If it does, it's rude. Can I, like, put that there? I mean, I could, because the pipe is kind of, like, on the wall. Is that creeping in? Oh, I kind of like it there. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. I'm going to put a nice, like, wicker rug down in here as well. Just put a nice little rug down. Um, or Maybe I could use one of these. Nah. I want it to look, like, kind of wicker. Like this. Is this? Oh, that's the perfect size as well. Oh, I don't mind that colour in here either. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. Right, I'm going to go and pull some stuff out of uh, clutter and debug. That will kind of better fit this place as well as like a little gardening shed. There we go. I've just pulled out a few little objects here and there. Some gardening tools, and a little box to keep all our bits and bobs in. Pulled out a pumpkin. I just thought the pumpkin was nice. It was cute. Some plants and a nice little chair. Just in case she wants to come in here and chill out. And get away from the children. You don't know, do you? So I kind of like that little idea. I may just pop another little plant moment. If I can find it. There we go. This one. Oh, God. Look at the shadow on that. Maybe not you then, darling. Maybe you instead. I'm just going to pop one up in the corner there. That's cute. I enjoy that. This area has got a use now, which is exactly what I wanted. And I've also gone and pulled out the washing line and the wash like uh, tub here as well, just so they can come down and do their washing. I thought that was a nice little idea. And in here, we'll just do exactly the same. I've pulled out this little object. I don't really care about all of this creeping in either. I kind of think it adds to the moment in here. So I'm going to get that woodworking bench, woodworking table, woodworking failure, woodworking disaster. <laughs> um, I'm going to get his little workbench in here. Mm, no, I'm going to put his workbench outside, sorry. And then what I'm going to do is put his archaeology stuff in there because that's what that's going to be. That is the mantra. We're going to make that his little archaeology um, area. Kind of enjoy that. And then we can put his little woodworking bench outside. Just in case he needs to fix anything in the home. Um, Let me just tweak a few of these plants. I don't want them creeping in too much. Not too excessively. And this one here as well, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit better. Bit better. Okay. Um, I'm going to show all from Jungle Adventure. Excuse me. Thank you very much. <clears throat> hmm. Sorry, I just copped right into my mic, didn't I? Um, This for a start would look great. It's very big, though. So maybe I'll put you outside, actually. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Right. We're going to go into here and try and look for this archaeology table. I probably skipped past it about 70 times. But where are you? Let me find it. One second. She's been found. I found her. She's right here. So we're going to put this down here. I may actually move this pot into this corner over here. Maybe it's something that he's checking out and studying now. These bones. Studying these bones. We've obviously got to put a, um, a photo or a painting up of the lost door of Vagina Nana. It would be very, very rude if we didn't. I do want to use one of these rugs in here that he may have got in a market in Salvadorada somewhere, which I love the idea of, but I'm unsure because these swatches are very, very bright. I think that was the best one. Yeah, that one. Okay. Right. I'm getting rid of you because you don't really need to be here. And we're going to add in some more little details from this area. Yeah. From this pack. Sorry. Um... What would work well in here? Oh, a little tapestry. Oh, that's massive. 
Yeah, a nice bright tapestry. We'll size it down. Can I put you somewhere else? Oh, I can put you just by the fireplace there, look. Sorry about the camera rising. It's flopping all over the show because of the roof line. Um, we need that lost door, don't we? I think it came with City Living, didn't it? Did it come with City Living? I think it did. Um, let's get to City Living. And it was in paintings. Yes, there it is. The Lost Door. Obsessed with it, he is. Oh, I hate that the plants do creep through the paintings. Let's just whiffle you in. I know I can use the tool mod on these and rotate them and stuff, but I just haven't got the time, loves. I have got the time. Um, Yeah, we'll pop that up there. Stunning. Right, okay. Get rid of you now and go back to Jungle Adventure. No, the cracks won't work well in here. But let's have a look at some of the wall pieces that we could add. Oh, we could add one of these in. I know they're massive, but I can size it down. One of the bright colored ones, not the gold one, because we're trying to look like they haven't got much money. Let's pop you to there. Yes. I can imagine this is a place he sits and ponders quite a bit as well. Wondering if I could get a rocking chair in here. Let's give it a go. If you see me doing this move, oh, if not, this chair would work. So we'll keep that for just in case. Um, Yeah, I'm going to be just moving around a bit. My back's aching today. I think it's because I could only do 20 minutes of yoga yesterday. And I usually do around 40 to an hour. So um, I need to crack on with that before tonight's stream. Bit of zen. Oh, God, I hate these rocking chairs. <laughs> really do. Will he still use it if it was there? Oh, look at all of this, though. I've got to try and watch this, the door, all sorts. So, yeah, we'll forget about the rocking chair. We'll use them on the inside, though, somewhere. Maybe we're on, up on the balconies. That's what we'll do. So, we'll put this in here, but he's definitely going to need a bookcase in here. Hopefully, we can get a little bookie case flopping about the show in here. Just a little, just a little one. Will you fit in here, my love? Oh, God, you're very big. You are very large i mean it would fit there and it kind of looks nice there actually right we're sizing you down you're taking up too much room oh she fits there a dream so we'll leave that there stunning and then i think i'll do a little surface table the jungle adventure one would look really nice in here actually i'm just gonna move around a bit shake those hips everybody i bet there's at least somebody out there that just shook their hips and if it was if you did, sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Where are you? Why can I not see you? Why must you do this to me? Why do things hide from me? Maybe it's in... Oh, maybe it's in the wrong place. Ah, yeah. There it is. You need to, like, make sure that you've got the right one. Oh, hopefully they'll still be able to use the archaeology table. Again, I will make sure to play a test everything. To make sure that they can use everything. Yeah, that looks cute. And then up here, I'm going to do like a pile of books. For things that he may have been studying. Old tomes and whatnot. Um, we'll use these. because They always look good and old. I love them. And I'm just going to whiffle whatever this is. There we go. A bit further away. Stunning. We do need a little moment down there as well. So maybe another one of those little tapestries. Yeah, one of these. Um, What's this one? That's more of a... I don't know. That could look a bit Silver Dorada. Yeah, we'll use one of these. Pop you there, love. Stunning. Oh, yeah, I'm for it. So, yeah. This kind of reflects on his character quite nicely. Hoping, hoping he can still use this table. But can I pop that over the top of that? Not really. And it makes the shadow a bit weird as well. But we'll test that out. We'll test it out, my loves. Don't you worry about that. I do think we need to get up some, oh, some window boxes or something on this fence. Just for a bit of detail. Uh, not you. Yeah, maybe you. Just in a neutral tone. Yeah, in that tone. I might even just keep it the same size, actually. No, it's a bit big. Let's size it down one. Oh, that's a bit better. 
Just that little detail there. Makes it look a little bit cuter. Yeah, I'm for it. Okay. Right, let's go up to the treehouse. So this is going to be where the kids hang out. I'm, I've put a chimney on this, but we're just going to pretend it's a fake one. Shush. Um, I want to make this into a little... Maybe a spot where the kid can come... Um, sorry, I've got something on my lip. Um, maybe a spot where the kid could come and... I hope I did not have that whatever it was on my lip throughout the whole recording because that is disgusting. I think it's a bit of orange because I've just had an orange. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, a spot where the kid can come and maybe sleep out as well. Would this bed work in here? Mm -hmm. I mean, it would. Kind of looks like a little campy vibe, doesn't it? I think there's only three or, yeah, three or four swatches for this. Um, that's not the aesthetic I want, though. So maybe, actually, one of these... Do we have one of the beds that look kind of a bit tatty? Or is that only in the uh, double bed variety? Like one of these, but in the single bed. Do we not have that? That's a big shame. Because that would have really worked well. No, we don't think we do. Oh, well. Oh, bloody well. We'll use the camp bed. We'll use the camp bed. Okay. And I want, definitely want to get a toy box I'll put up here. So it does kind of... Um, Make the child want to come up to the treehouse, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, though? You know what I fucking mean. Right. What am I doing? What am I in? Creative. Kids activities. It should be in here, shouldn't it? Or is it in toys? It's in toys. And we'll use one of these. One of these trunks. I like the stickers on it, though. For this build. Yeah, maybe I'll use the blue one with the stickers on, then. Oh, no, that one. It's stunning. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Be nice if we could have a little doll's house up here. Maybe I'll put one out here, but I'll size it down. Let's not let it cut into there too much. But I do want to keep it away from the door. Yeah, that's cute. Into it. Okay. And there was some good stuff in here then that I was seeing. These little like, these little like moments. A little robot. Let's get a couple of little robots out. A little rocket. Let's put that on the balcony as well. He's very... I'd imagine he'd be quite creative. He's good at making things. Good engineer. A medieval castle. Oh, stunning. We want that as well. I'm going to pop you down there. Definitely. Um, Do we want a chair in here? Eh. No, I don't think we're going to put a chair in here. I am going to put a nice rug though. Maybe that one with all the stars on. That would look really cute in here. Oh, that's lovely. That swatch is cool as well. I do enjoy it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Maybe some pictures. Just of things. I like the... The Barry Trotter poster. Oh, Henry Puffer, sorry. Barry Trotter. <laughs> yeah, we'll put a couple of these about. We did say he liked animals as well, didn't we? So maybe we'll put a couple of photos of dogs and stuff around yeah like different cat dog breeds we'll put a little dog breed poster down there and a cat breed poster on this side loves it loves it i'm going to put a little a little um side table off to the side of this bed um what am i doing get there for goodness sake uh, oh yeah this one yeah, that's very tree house. Ah, oh, shame to it would have been good if we could get a um well do you know what? I'm gonna put the dog poster there. Whiffle this one here with the robots. We'll put a few more toys down here as well. And I'm gonna put a bookcase here. Definitely put a little cheeky bookcase. This one's really cute. This would maybe work have a look do you have just like a oh that's cute no that's a bit too that would work but i'm thinking maybe a, something a little bit more along this lines and this one's got a brown swatch if i remember rightly oh it does look oh that one's got a few more colors there i think i'll go for that one that's a bit better yeah 
Yeah, that's cute. So I kind of do need a little chair up here. Maybe we could put one out on the balcony so we could come out and read on the balcony. I like that idea. I'm gonna, Oh, no, one, a little pile of cushions. He could come and read on his cushions. Yes. And I think what I'll do is put a couple of the lanterns around. But the ones that kind of look the base game ones. This Oh, no, that's nice. The weathered lantern. Yes. And then one out here as well. I'll pop, pop it right down next to here. Yeah, that's cute. Cute. Okay. No, I'm happy. I think I'll get a few more toys out just by the side of here. I really liked those objects that we were looking at here. These ones. But I don't think... No. We'll stick with the toys. And just get a few out. We'll get a Yarny. Why not? A little bear as well. Stunning. And maybe some bubbles. Little bubble thing there. Stunning again. And maybe some clay. Oh, no, I'm not going to have that clay because the Sims all bloody play with it, don't they? Can't get enough of it. Bloody hell. Oh, I forgot all about you. You were the cutest thing ever. I love this. I love that. Maybe I could put that in his bedroom. He's having the smaller bed and the teen's having the, the larger bedroom. So this would be his. Yeah, we'll pop this one in there just so I can remind to use it. Okay. Well, I'm happy with how this has came out now. There's a lot of activities down here which will keep the Sims kind of busy around. Also changed out these stepping stones as well. I forgot to mention that. Whoa, my stomach just rumbled. I am hungry. And then obviously her little hut there as well. I think it will look even cuter once we've got like plants growing and stuff. In the planters. I changed the planters the other way around as well. Um, and then I saw one of you guys also said to do that as well. I thought, yeah, you, we were on the same page, my love. Okay, right. We're going to move on to the interiors. We're going to get started on the kitchen and the dining area, I think. So I've put down these tiles as well because I've kind of reflected that in the, uh, this is going to be a little mini toilet area. <clears throat> um, and I just wanted a little bit of separation from the hallway and the dining areas. And I think just by using these tiles, it's kind of done that. I may actually just skirt this off using a control f so it will pull the tile down that's better and hopefully the sims should still be able to like walk through this way as well and come around this way i mean you can just come straight that way but i kind of like that idea i love this wonky staircase as well like bending all around love that so kitchen want it to be a big family kitchen so i may just do it like a Full big row of kitchen going all the way down. Maybe with a couple of rocking chairs here. That would look cute. Or should we put rocking chairs in the conservatory? Don't know yet. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so, I'm going to try to use as many off the grid items as I possibly can. This isn't going to be an off the grid build because I still want to use these kind of like lantern lights and stuff. But. You could easily change that if you do download this after I finish, my loves. It's up to you. You can crack on and do what you like. So I want this kitchen to be warmer tone. Um, oh, that's a really nice swatch in here. Yes, lovely. Right, we're going to get this grid on so I can get this in a proper place. There we go. Right against the wall. What counters are we going to use? Hmm. Maybe vampire. No, they're a bit too fancy. Just a little bit too fancy. I mean, these are even fancier, but I think this aesthetic would work well in here. Oh, that would be a really good swatch. So would that. Oh, that's even better. That's the ticket. I say they're too fancy and I've gone for the fanciest one. But I don't know. I think this vibe would fit well in this kitchen. Yeah, we're going to do it. Okay. Where am I going to put the fridge first? Let me just get, have a little ponder. I don't want to put it in front of a window, really. Well, I could put it in this corner. It would just cut into this a little bit, but I don't really mind that. That's fine. Okay, we'll do that. So if I can do that... To, oh, no, that's going to go... I'm going to have to lift these windows up just slightly, just so it doesn't do that on the edge there, because I can't bear that. We'll do the same here. Do the same there. Okay. 
Right, I'm going to get all of these counters down first. One there. Do I want to do like an end piece there? Yeah, I think we do. So I'm going to put an end piece on this pit. Lovely. I think the sink... Hmm. kind of want the sink to have its own moment, really. Oh, I could put the fridge there. Like along this wall. I'm going to do that. In fact, yeah, I am. I'm going to do it. Absolutely going to do it. And I think I may put this, like, do a standalone sink. Something that looks a little bit shabby as well, like this. I love this. Yes, it's got a hose on it, but oh, it's got a little rainbow pattern on it. I mean, it's not the perfect wood, but we're going to try and have a little mixture of woods and stuff in here anyway. Um, I like the rainbow one. Maybe I'll give the sink its own little moment by the balcony there. Uh, I kind of like that. I do want. I was thinking about this one as well, which would work in the vibe in here too. But I'm going to use this. But I'm just going to get rid of that hose there. Cho, Cho, love. There we go. Yeah, that's cute. Do we want to do an end piece there? But look, because it would. Uh, now that doesn't look right. And there's a little gap then. No, that's fine. I'll put like a little bucket and stuff down here just for detail. Or a bin. A bin. A bin. We're doing a bin. We're going to do a bin. We need, uh, as weird as this like comment is, we need more bins. <laughs> bins that look good. I like, I hardly use any of these. I just find them too small and stuff for a kitchen. I would like a, I'd love to see them do something more with bins like this, like the electric ones. Because I've got a bin like this where you kind of put your hand up to it. So you don't have to touch it to get your rubbish in. I love that bin. There we go. Yeah, that looks cute. I enjoy that. Okay. Well, yeah, definitely. We're going to put a fridge here now. Definitely need to get the same swatch as this one. Which I think is that one, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, it might be. No, that's... The, is that one? Who are you? Um, yeah, It's that one. They should have done the gold details on the handles and stuff as well to kind of better match in with the oven. But hey, I am not a game developer. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, I do enjoy that. I'm not going to put it, anything there, though, I don't think. Maybe a, just a little seat. Maybe a little seat of some description. I mean, I could use one of these in here. Oh, that's a good swatch. Yeah, we'll do that. Just in case mum or dad gets tired cooking. They can have a little chair. They can have a little seat down. Um, You're probably going to scream, but we're going to use a rug in here as well. For sure. Okay. Right, cupboards. Did it come with cupboards? I don't think it did, did it? I think they've just gave up on making kitchen cupboards, to be honest. They were just like, eh. You've got kitchen counters. That's enough. It's like, Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not the perfect wood matching. In the slightest. I think the lighter ones are better, better fit. But we did say we wanted like a mixture of things in here. So I think I'm going to go for the lighter one. Okay. Right, where am I? We're there, but we're not on the right swatch. It's this swatch. With the, we'll put some... We'll put one there. We'll put a big boy there. More little ones. All the way along. And I'm just going to put a corner one in here. It might skirt into that window's edge, but I don't really care. I don't really care, to be honest. This one here. Do I want to do another one there? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough cupboard moments. Okay. Oh, grrr. Okay, right, yeah, fine. Right, let's have a look at some of the rugs. Some of the rugs. Ooh, one of these could work in here. Not you, though. 
Oh, the colours. The colours, the colours, the colours. I mean, the green doesn't look bad. Oh, it doesn't look bad, actually. Yeah, I'm going to use the green. I'm going to pop it there. Yes. I'm for it. I'm going to put a cauldron down there, but not like one of the working cauldrons. I think I've the cauldron room is going to be this room up the top as well. I decided. I forgot to tell you that. Um, we'll do this as a nice cauldron room. I might change the wallpapers in there just a better match in wallpapers and flooring. Okay, so we'll get the light for um, spooky stuff. Um, where are you? Let's get right down the bottom here. Spooky stuff, if you would, please. Thank you very much. Where are you? There you are. Can I size you up? Oh, you're a bit big. But what about if I go into and do it with um, tool mod? Just, just for a little bit. Oh, she's become an amazing parent. Well done, Marcia. Well done. All right, tool mod. Scale. Um, let's do a. 1.3 see what that size is up to that's perfect <laughs> that was easy wasn't it yes yes it was we'll pop you into the front there i don't want to put it too i'd love to like put it like here but i just think it would just catch fire <laughs> i wish that wasn't a thing in the sims i wish that things didn't catch fire when they were near the fireplace i mean it's realistic but we need details and that is the detail my friend Right, I'm going to go into here, get some rocking chairs, and hopefully we can get a nice rocking chair moment going on in here. That's the perfect wood. Oh, it's got green. Yeah, let's do two of these. Just one there. And one there. Um, I'm not feeling them in here. I think I'll stick the rocking places to the dining area. And I think what I'm going to do here is, is put a dining table in. I know we're putting a dining table in here. But I think like a little mini dining table in here might look nice. No. Do you know what? I take that back. We're going into Eco Living. Because they've got some gorgeous cabinets. Haven't they? Which I just think would fit in with the aesthetics in here. <gasps> I didn't put one of these in the garden. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me right now? Maybe I could put it here. Obviously not in that tone. Like the darker one would look better. Excuse you. Or that one actually. Let me get that grid off. It's distracting me. Yeah, that's better. Just a little potting station. I'm going to whiffle it in tighter though. And I'm just going to... I'll detail around the grass later. Um, so I wanted like a cabinet in here. Hmm. Where are you? I can never find a cabinet. Hate searching for them. Yeah, one of these. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is going to fit the vibe. Um, need a bit more of a warmer wood. A bit darker. We're going to be able to find that? Not really. So I think I'll stick with a darker one. There we go. Yes. That's giving me the kitchen vibes. All the kitchen vibes. Absolutely gorgeous. 100% here for it. Um, I'm going to put you up by the window. I think you would look nice. Have you got any better colours? You look a bit dry. I think they are supposed to be dried flowers, but... Yeah, no, that's the best out of the bad bunch. And we're going to get a little drinks tray up here as well. Stunning. This is screaming out for that uh, saucepan thing. So I'm going to go and find that. Give me two seconds. There we go. So I found them, but I also pulled out some spices. Bit of um, spoons and spatula moments. Also these dried herbs. I'd imagine uh, Marcia makes her potions and stuff here. In the kitchen also pulled out this here love that little detail in this kitchen and just a few little like details and dirty dishes and whatnot as well but i've left enough space for them to be able to cook or do whatever they want to in here um i was going to hang down one of those like ceiling details the uh oh god look it's not even registering that as a ceiling there why why 
Uh, I'm going to have to try and figure that out off of camera. Um, but yeah, I can't now anyway, because there is no ceiling. So that detail is lost on us. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Let's get two of these rocking chairs. I'm going to pop you two there, I think. In the conservatory area and a nice big family. Um, I might do a circular table in here. Let's see if we can. Because they've got those big boys, haven't they? Oh, that one would work. Oh, that one's even better, isn't it? I like the blue as well, actually. Yes, let's go for the blue. Go for this one. With some lovely... I may even put loads of different chairs around here. I mean, I used to do this all the time. But I think it would just match in well with this family. Yeah, we'll have one of you as well. And a warm... We'll keep them all, like, warmer toned, though. Yes, we'll do it. We will do it. Um, oh, yeah, one of you. <laughs> the eclectic mix of chairs in this house. Maybe, um, no, I wouldn't mind. No, I'm going to say, yeah, maybe Nestle gifted them one. Gifted them a chair, which they love. Um, maybe one of you. Just a nice eclectic mix of chairs. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to make lo this area loads of plants in here as well. I think that would look really cool. Definitely. Yes. I was just worried I'd put this on top of the bloody glass ceiling then. But I didn't. Did not. So, big plants. Big boys. Let's say, oh. Oh, yeah, you do well in here, my love. Oh, I like that tone in here. Little cart. Let's then whiffle this a bit closer this way. Can we just need to get make sure that there's areas that can walk all the way around? They should be able to. Yes. So that's where the dining table is going to stay. So let's um bring in some more plant details. One of these. I don't know where we're going to put that though, because it's huge. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll skip out on that idea. We'll skip out on that idea. I do want to use one of these though, because I love these. They always look good in conservatory. I'm going to flop this around to that way instead. Yes. Is that cutting in anywhere? No. No, it's not. Um, oh, can we use these somehow? Maybe if I size them all down together. So the shadows glitch out. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Oh, sunflowers. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Right. Little... Uh, watering can one as well. Stunning. Loves it. Look at this. Look how stunning this is. This is from Felix Anders new. Oh, it's so gorgeous. New Kyoto pack. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to show you guys the speed build that we've been work or I've been working on. Um, yeah, I do enjoy it. I really do. Oh yeah, one of you, but in the green. Pop you quite close to there. Can we use you in here? Are you also going to glitch out in the shadows? You are, aren't you? Yes. I wish the shadows would size down. Wish that was a thing. Oh, we'll do a few hanging plants in here as well. Maybe not all at that height, though. We need to... Oh, God. There we go. I'll, just... I'll pick them out randomly. That one hang... How's that? I thought that was hanging lower than that, but it's not. It's the same bloody height. It's the camera putting me off again. I don't really like the swatches on these at all. Ugh. It's just too cutesy, cutesy, cutesy for me. But you guys know my thoughts on the back. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Yeah, this is cute. I'm going to whiffle this in a bit tighter this way, though. Just so they can still get around. Yes. Okay. Maybe we could put these behind here as well. Oh, that's my favorite one. That's my favourite plant. Like, hanging plant that came with a pack. I do enjoy this one. Yes. Okay. Okay. A few more of you. Can we do another? Oh. I want someone a bit lower. Is there, like, a medium height to these? It doesn't appear to be. Probably is. I'm just missing it. Yeah, that's... Oh, great, that would do. Oh, yeah, it is. Look, that hangs up a bit higher. 
Oh, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. I think we need like a little cabinet here. Oh, that's going to be a tight squeeze. Um, Maybe. Hmm. Can I use you in here? No. You don't really fit the vibe, my love. Oh, you will though. Oh, yeah, you do. Just a few little flowers. I will change the colour of that grey, though. For a brun. What was the other one there? A bit more of a copper, but we'll do that. Yeah, that's cute. I'm going to put a nice rug in here as well. Let's see if I can go in and find one of those uh, cabinets. There we go, my loves. I think we're done in here. Oh, the ceiling's come back. Oh, no. It's when you look at it. It's very shy. It's a very shy ceiling. So we've got the kitchen going on. Got everything that the kitchen would need. I do enjoy it. That view there is really cute. I do like that. Let's go into the uh, conservatory slash dining room. So we've got a lovely little glass ceiling over it as well. That's disappearing as well. Really? Why, though? Maybe it's the CC. Maybe I need to get rid of that custom content. We'll try that. I'll try that. But yeah, what I did was put out a nice rug. Also found a cabinet that fit in there quite well. Um, And I also put a rug underneath for the rocking chairs as well. But I just thought that looked so bloody cute. Look how cute. Very cute indeed. Do enjoy it. Yeah, this is coming along spiffingly. Apart from that bloody ceiling. So yeah, we've managed to get those two done today. Um, so we've got the dining room, the kitchen done. Also got all the little hobbit moments finished as well. The little workshops. So we're cracking on. We are cracking on. Um, I'm going to be back with this on Monday. We're going to be finishing off the rest of the exterior, the interiors. We'll finish off all of the interiors. Um, probably Monday, Tuesday. Probably Monday, Tuesday, finish off the interiors. And then, obviously, we're going to be getting to another house in... Uh, glimmer brick somewhere which would be really cool but but yeah okay thank you so much my friends i really appreciate you being here um give me some ideas as always i love hearing from you i love hearing your ideas and what we should do for the bedrooms and whatnot hopefully i can get that ceiling bug sorted because that's really weird and it's not going to allow us to pay furniture place furniture even uh, i'll try and maybe just get rid of that custom content and see if that helps um but yeah I'm going to be back tomorrow with Speed Build Saturday. Probably quite late in the evening for the UK. Um, and I'm going to be live on Twitch this evening at 7pm BST. So hopefully I can see some of you there. I've been loving seeing some of your faces. And I can understand that some of you cannot get to it. Um, but I will leave a link down below in the video. If you do miss the stream, I will link Mondays, Tuesdays, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays down below. Once I have obviously streamed. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to say goodbye now. Goodbye, my friend.